won. You lost. And it's driving you batty. Bottom line, Nancy, the man is doing what we elected him to do while you haven't done a damn thing as you see in the hatred and vitriol and your obsession to get your truth. Enough. I've had it. Since when does asserting your legal rights amount to a cover-up? Since when is going to court to settle an unprecedented legal issue a cover-up? And why does a commander-in-chief and his family have to automatically grant every demand made by the party that has spent the last two years mocking and deriding him as an illegitimate president in an unrelenting assault on his presidency as they look for any reason to impeach him? This week, a clash at the White House had its genesis in a statement made by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Uh, would you believe that it's important for the, the, to follow the facts? Uh, we believe that no one is above the law, including the President of the United States, and we believe that the President of the United States is engaged in a cover-up, in a cover-up, and that was the nature the president got wind of this and walked into that meeting and stated in no uncertain terms, you cannot reinvestigate and legislate. He's had it. We've all had it. So he says, look, I never asserted executive privilege. I told all my people to talk. I gave them 1.4 million documents. My kids and my family talked. It's over. But the Democrats are not satisfied with the two-year investigation by their guy, Bob Mueller, of the fake Russia collusion with more lawyers, investigators, search warrants, subpoenas, and an international reach more than any other special counsel investigation in American history. They literally want a do-over of the investigation as if there's any way these Democrats, without the power to even impanel a grand jury, can do a more thorough job than Bob Mueller. They envision sitting on their perches in Washington and pontificating as they re-interview people already interviewed. They argue they have a constitutional duty to investigate. Uh, I think that the House should definitely move forward on impeachment proceedings because the Mueller report showed very clearly uh, that he had done exactly the kind of obstruction of justice that you saw laid out in the articles of impeachment for Richard Nixon. So Bob Mueller spent two years with the help of every Trump-hating, Hillary-loving lawyer he could find, teed up with the benefit of corrupt Cardinal Comey, staging a fake dossier and investigation, and then defrauding the FISA court. And nothing, nothing. As a result, the Dems have a collective breakdown. And every Democrat, from Adam Schiff to Elijah Cummings to Jerry Nadler to Maxine Waters, are conducting hearings to get any dirt they can get in any way they can get it. Now, the president has had it, and I don't blame him. Every day, the man gets up, taking incoming from these halfwits stuck on stupid, telling him that he didn't win fair and square. But the facts are incontrovertible. He won. But they still believe that Russia helped because Russia bought a few Facebook ads that didn't amount to a hill of beans and affected no zero, no numbers. So Ms. Pelosi shows up at the White House after about an hour and a half earlier trashing the president yet again. I ask you, how long do you think you could be called a criminal, a traitor, a Putin-loving puppet before you say, enough, I've had it. And that's just what he did. So now, Nancy has a temper tantrum. Again, I pray for the President of the United States. I wish that his family or his administration or his staff would have an intervention for the good of the country. And you say, he's crazy? He won, you lost. He's on a mission to change the course that Obama and Clinton charted. We've got the lowest unemployment in half a century. More people working than ever in the history of this nation. That's right, black, brown, Asian, white. 
And what does he get for it? He's a racist. He destroys the ISIS caliphate in the Middle East, something Obama couldn't for the life of himself figure out. And what does Trump get for it? He's a Muslim hater. He's protecting Americans from unknowns crossing our border, including MS-13 gang members who Obama wouldn't stop and those who traffic in heroin and fentanyl. And what does he get for it? He's a bigot. And when he tries to offer, offer merit-based immigration to protect American workers and Americans at large, he's called condescending. And yet, since before he took office, Everybody wants the man impeached, including good old Maxine, who sounds like a broken record. Let's impeach 45! Impeach 45! Impeach 45! Impeach 45! Impeach 45! And Nancy, you think he needs an intervention? The man is focused on his work on the unfair trade deals, protecting farmers at the same time, and you of your band of loony lefties say this? We don't need a divided country when it comes to impeachment, but the president needs to stop putting kerosene on this fire, or Democrats aren't going to have any choice but then to move forward. He's not putting kerosene on the fire. They are. He doesn't need an intervention, Nancy. You need the intervention. Maybe the president's right. I tell you what, I've been watching her, and I have, I have been watching her for a long period of time. She's not the same person. Uh, she's lost it. Nancy, you haven't recovered from the 2016 election, and it's driving you batty. You want to re-question everybody that's already been questioned under oath. You know, Nancy, I remember a Christmas holiday when the president stayed back at the White House during a partial government shutdown, waiting to work a deal with you and the Dems on the wall, while you all were gallivanting in Hawaii and Puerto Rico and planning your next junket to Afghanistan. And because you can't win fair and square, your ilk wants to change the rules, get rid of the Electoral College, and now Schiff and Nadler and Cummings and Waters all meet to discuss what more you can do in an effort to continue to keep this man under fire. Now, what none of you seem to know or understand is that no one loves a fight and winning that fight more than Donald Trump. Bottom line, Nancy, the man is doing what we elected him to do while you haven't done a damn thing as you see in the hatred and vitriol and your obsession to get your truth. Nancy, you already got the truth. And Nancy, you can't handle the truth. So just knock it the hell off, follow his lead, and start doing the job you were elected to do. And that's my open.